What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about five things you should be doing when editing your photos. These five things that we're going to be talking about are not program specific. So whether you're using Photoshop or Lightroom or just the app on your iPhone, it doesn't matter. These aren't tips or tricks or anything like that. It's more of things you should be doing every time you edit your photos. But before we get started, if you can please hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps me out. I'm gonna be releasing new videos every week, so stay tuned for those. And if you haven't already, please check me out on Instagram at Nick Cameron underscore. I put the link in the description. So number one is cropping. I know you just went all out and just bought a brand new camera with a full frame sensor, something like that. But oftentimes when you don't crop your image correctly, it creates a bad composition. Just by adjusting the frame, you can make your photo tell a story, create a different mood, or just make an image that's more pleasing to look at. So for example, the focus of this image would be the walkway with all the flowers and the bushes, but that's lost because of the ugly metal bars that are crowding the foreground of the photo. Simply by cropping the image, you can remove the distractions and change the subject of the photo. So another example is this portrait here. Now, in my opinion, there is way too much space above her head. And just by tightening up the composition, the background is no longer taking up a large section of the photo and the focus is brought back to her face. Number two is white balance. Oftentimes when you look at a photo that you just took, when you bring it into Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever, the colors don't match what you saw when you actually took the photo. That could be because you had auto white balance on and your camera automatically made adjustments for you, or you were shooting with the wrong white balance. In that case, don't worry, it can be fixed. Fixing this could be the difference of a good photo or a bad photo. After making a few lighting adjustments to this photo, the colors look way too yellow and orange. Just by simply bringing down the temperature to a more cool setting, the blues from the water come back and the sunset is now properly colored. And the image as a whole looks a thousand times better. Number three is highlights and shadows. When editing a photo, even if it's properly exposed, making simple adjustments to the shadows and the highlights after the fact can accent shadows or highlights or even just change the mood of the photo altogether. Now, this is especially important if you use presets or filters because not all filters or presets are made equal. So you can have a preset that looks good on one photo, it's not gonna look good on every photo. You still have to go in and make adjustments. Filters are not one size fits all, and keeping shadow adjustments and highlight adjustments in your head when you put a filter on can really make a big difference. So in this photo of a dog I took, I applied one of my own Lightroom presets, link in the description. You can see how the tones are better, but the shadows are basically black, and the highlights are all blown out. But just by bringing up the shadows and the highlights down, you can see that it's just a more pleasing image to look at. Number four is contrast. Adding too much contrast to an image can make your photos look unprofessional or just bad. Not enough contrast, you start losing colors and the depth of your image. But the right amount of contrast can enhance your image, accent specific colors, and even make slight adjustments to your light. So in this photo here, there's practically no contrast, but you bump it up way too much and it looks crazy. But with the right adjustment, there's a balance of mood, lighting, and color that adds to the photo in a positive way. Lastly, number five, sharpness. I see it all the time where photographers use too much sharpness. They bring that slider all the way up and it looks terrible and it looks very unprofessional. Also, if you're shooting portraits, it's not the most flattering thing to do to someone's face when you add too much sharpness. Sharpness can be a good tool, but a little goes a long way. This also applies for removing sharpness. You know, when you have an image that's too crisp, you wanna bring that sharpness down a little bit. It can add a little bit of softness to the image and sometimes make your photos look a little bit more realistic. Now, this is another editing technique that I just recommend playing around with. You know, move that slider all the way up, move that slider all the way down, and just see how it affects your image. So that's it, five editing tools and techniques that you should be conscious about every time you edit photos. The right adjustments can make or break your image. So edit responsibly and I'll see you guys in the next video.